A very good day to Dr. Kamarudin and to everyone. My name is Janice Leong and I'm from Unit T TSLB1. And today I will be presenting on the topic factors influencing curriculum change. So before going into the factors, I will first tell what is the definition of curriculum. So curriculum actually comes from the Latin word carere, which also means race course or path, trails, and majors. According to Kementerian Pendidikan Malaysia, curriculum was defined as all educational plans operated by a school or educational institution to achieve educational goals. So now going into the four factors that influences curriculum change. Technological development, current needs, government policies, and culture. So for technological development, technologies, as we all know, are becoming more and more sophisticated, and it changes rapidly day by day. What I mean by this is we can see different technology coming one after another. And so there are many technology that can help us during the process of teaching and learning in a classroom. An example is the use of computer and projector when we present a topic or a slide in class. So the image projector onto the whiteboard is more dynamic and interesting. It can also easily catch a student's attention. So what I mean here is when we compare the image projector onto the whiteboard and also the image we see in textbooks, most people, especially students, will prefer watching the image projector onto the whiteboard because once again, it is more dynamic and interesting. And so this is why technology development influences curriculum change. Next, current needs. Primary school integrated curriculum, KBSR, changed to primary school standard curriculum, KSSR, in order to meet current needs. This change is to help the students produced to become citizens who are not only knowledgeable, but also highly skilled to compete with the rest of the global population. So an example is the skills in using technology. These days, students can actually get information beyond the scope of the classroom or even the school. What I mean by this is they don't even have to be in school in order to have information, to find information. And the information the students find using technology is very much up to date. However, teachers need to guide the students in choosing the right information uh, from the right website. Okay, thirdly, government policies. Curriculum should change in line with the government policies displayed by the government. And this is to avoid duplication of national mission and vision of the national education. The primary school standard curriculum, KSSR, was created and added to the fourth element, which is in line with the government's policy to produce a Malaysian society with a first-class mind. So this is, the, this is one of the reasons why KBSR was changed to KSSR. And another example is when computers were introduced in the education system, it was found that many curriculum that had been formed were told to bring computer knowledge into curriculum. And so the ideas introduced in the field of education can also help curriculum shapers to renew the existing curriculum. And of course, lastly, culture. According to Kamus Dewan 2005, Culture is classified as a way of life practiced by certain groups that include social systems, economic organizations, politics, religion, beliefs, customs, attitudes, and values. And so curriculum changes are due to the changes in the society's, over, the society's culture over time. So in order to maintain the unity and also the harmony of the society, curriculum should emphasize on respecting the race, ethnicity, and religion of others. And this is, to, this is in order to have a harmony and a united society. And also to tolerate and have noble values to form the image of a plural Malaysia. And so Malaysia can be an example to other countries. Okay, so as a conclusion, the four factors that influences curriculum change that I mentioned earlier are technological development, current needs, government policies, and culture. So the, before going into the question uh, for today, there's actually many other curriculum changes that could influence um, curriculum change. There are actually many factors that could influence curriculum change as well. Um, so my question for today is, can you think of another factor that could influence curriculum change? And also explain how does it influence curriculum change? And this is my references. And so that is all for me for today. Thank you so much for lending me your ears.